tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. The pandemic hit us with a big wallop last March. And to this day, we know that fashion, one of the most important industries of this country, was very badly hit. With all the retail stores shut down and all the production facilities came to a halt, even the world of fashion show production naturally followed suit. However, the creative spirit and the creative managers of this industry will not be uh, silenced by this pandemic. They um, are able to come together and as a force to be reckoned with, they are going to resurrect the fashion industry and we're going to learn about their strategies and how they're doing you it. You know, you resort to prayers. The first few days were really hard. Um, and then it goes to a point where you start screaming at the TV because it's all bad news. So, what? You decide. Will you sit down and, say, and pity yourself? I decided to do something. It all boils down to that. It's either you make good use of your time or you just spend your time in bed and gain sideways. Like, well, it also <laughs> happened. We decided, why not just do a video and make it make it organic? Just ask the designers to send you what they can and we'll put it together. And then Selma gave me a beautiful title. Why not call it Passion for Healing? Fantastic. That's the old, yeah, that's the only way we could heal ourselves. So why not do it through fashion? That's why yes. that's how the new normal passion for healing was born. From now on, I'm really going to use local accessories because I believe in the initiative and I know that you represent these fashion accessories coming from Surigao, which is a province that, well, at least most of the consumers here in Manila would not even think about. But you have brought that Agsam fur right. to a level that is already yeah. recognized abroad. So I am so proud and honored to be, to right. meet you and to have you in our show. And you know, one of the things that I admire about both you and uh, Gina, uh, Nebrida T, are that you bring out very unique indigenous uh, elements. This is so going like to be a challenge for us. And I think it's about time that you should start finding something that we can locally uh, source, like uh, making use of local materials. Maybe, well, of course, this is a little bit long range, but then maybe we can try to produce our own fiber so we can be distinctly Cebuano in terms of approach in, in our design. Yeah. If there's one thing that this pandemic has brought is, is the awareness to use local, to buy local, to be loyal to local. Um, it's been said before, and I'm going to say again, we should, we should uh, really, really put, put, put weight on using our own resources. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the, the key word here is together. And that's the only way we can all move forward together. Um, it's a very good step to encourage and engage our consumers and to make them aware that our fashion designers from Manila is linked up with our designers and the creative community in Cebu and in Davao in, and in other parts of the country because this can, the only way we will survive is truly if we work together as one. Uh, one nation, Indeed. Let's, let's put that message there and also to make an effort for ourselves to wear a, a design in, uh, done by a local designer using local materials and really making it uh, a statement, making a statement that yes, we are supporting Philippine fashion. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z81 Radio Manila.